Before we begin the test, listen to the people you will hear. If you cannot hear the people talking, tell your teacher. Now, listen to the people. This is a test. This is a test. Please turn to page 3 in your test book and listen for directions for the listening section. Directions for questions 1 through 24. For each of these questions, you will hear four sentences. They will be said only once. They are not printed in your test book. You have to listen carefully in order to understand what the speaker says. While you are listening to the four sentences, Look at the picture in your test book and choose the sentence that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, on your answer sheet, find the number of the problem and mark your answer. Look at the sample picture in your test book. Now, listen to the four sentences A. She's writing on a piece of paper. B. She's looking at a magazine. C. She's eating a sandwich. D. She's standing by the door. Sentence B. She's looking at a magazine. Best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should mark answer B. Now let us begin this part with question number one. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. The corn isn't ripe yet. B. The grasshopper fell off the corn. C. The bug is eating the corn. D. The corn is all gone now. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. There are hundreds of birds flying overhead. B. He has taken off his hat in order to see the birds well. C. The birds are floating on the surface. D. The man is standing in the boat. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The umbrellas have not been opened yet. B. They've gone inside because of the rain. C. It's raining lightly. D. The girls forgot their umbrellas. Look at the picture mark number four in your test book. A. The boys are all sitting on the floor. B. Only one boy is wearing a hat. C. The boys are all playing baseball. D. One boy is sitting at the table. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. The violin is being played. B. The violin has fallen off the chair. C. The chair is on top of the violin. D. The rose is on top of the violin. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. They're racing down the street. B. The athletes are taking a rest. C. One girl has gotten off the road. D. There are no cars in the parking lot. Look at the picture mark number seven in your test book. A. He's sawing some wood. B. He's picking up a chair. C. He's cooking some food. D. He's working with a tool. Look at the picture marked number eight in your test book. A. They are eating the hay in the barn. B. 
One horse is chasing another. C. They are standing in the shade to cool off. D. No one is riding the horses. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. She's standing next to the goal. B. She's picking up the ball. C. She's looking towards the audience. D. She's about to kick the ball. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your test book. A. They're leaning against a wall. B. They're doing some exercises. C. They're playing in the gym. D. They're sitting in the grass. Look at the picture marked number 11 in your test book. A. The water is not too deep here. B. The horses will not enter the stream. C. The women's hats are floating in the river. D. The horses are swimming in the lake. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number 12 in your test book. A. There are no trees along the road. B. A number of trucks are parked at the curb. C. There are only two lanes of traffic on this street. D. All of the cars are going in the same direction. Look at the picture marked number 13 in your test book. A. The drivers won't let the runners pass. B. They are jogging in a heavy rain. C. Three men are running in the same direction. D. Two of the men are carrying their friend. Look at the picture marked number 14 in your test book. A. The teacher is holding his arm out. B. The students are standing up in front of the class. C. The teacher is checking the students' notebooks. D. The students have all left the classroom. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number 15 in your test book. A. The animal is licking the girl's hand. B. Several animals are crowded around the girl. C. The father is touching the animal's back. D. The girl is going to pet the animal. Look at the picture marked number 16 in your test book. A. The man and woman are looking at the books. B. He is handing her a piece of paper. C. The man and woman are shaking hands. D. She is not acting friendly toward the man. Look at the picture marked number 17 in your test book. A. There is a big tree in back of the machine. B. The telephone pole has been damaged. C. The man is operating some machinery. D. The bulldozer is stuck on the road. Look at the picture marked number 18 in your test book. A. The man is feeding the cat. B. The cat is lying on the man. C. The man is sitting up in his chair. D. The cat is stretching out its paw. Go on to the next page.
Look at the picture marked number 19 in your test book. A. The man is buying a map. B. They are all looking at the same thing. C. They are lost in the woods. D. The women are sitting on the steps. Look at the picture marked number 20 in your test book. A. The tablecloth is hanging on a clothesline. B. The people are clearing the table. C. The weather seems to be very cold. D. The baby is sitting at the end of the table. Look at the picture marked number 21 in your test book. A. Neither girl is tall enough to reach the receiver. B. They're looking for a number in the phone book. C. No one is talking on the telephone right now. D. Both girls are standing with their arms crossed. Look at the picture marked number 22 in your test book. A. The ball is lying on the ground. B. He's kicking the ball while it is in the air. C. His shoe came off when he kicked the ball. D. The man is throwing the ball in the air. Go on to the next page. Look at the picture marked number 23 in your test book. A. The girl is cooking something special. B. There is not enough time to have art class today. C. She's using a brush to decorate her creation. D. The girls have not started their projects yet. Look at the picture marked number 24 in your test book. A. She's moving her hand as she talks. B. She's repairing the coffee machine. C. She's looking down at the projector. D. She's holding her glasses in her hand. Directions for questions 25 through 44. For each of these questions, you will hear a sentence. It will be said only once. In your test book, you will find four sentences marked A, B, C, and D. After you hear the complete sentence, read the four sentences and mark the letter of the sentence that is exactly the same as the one you have heard. Here is the first example. You will hear John likes to study. In your test book, you read Sentence C, John likes to study, is exactly the same as the sentence you heard. The correct answer is C. Therefore, you should mark answer C. Here is another example. You will hear, My parents are planning their vacation. In your test book, you read, Sentence B, my parents are planning their vacation, is exactly the same as the sentence you heard. The correct answer is B. Therefore, you should mark answer B. Go on to the next page. Now begin with question 25. Question 25. James didn't attend today's chemistry lecture, and I didn't either. Number 26. Don't you think you should attend the lecture before taking the test? Number 27. The lecture series has finally been concluded. Number 
Does Jane still want to participate in the project? Number 29. The man asked how long they had played soccer. Number 30. What game did you play with Jack before science class today? Number 31. Mary learned more quickly than she had expected. Number 32. The teacher suggested that tonight we should read the first three chapters of the physics book. Number 33. Everyone had expected that the new teacher might arrive tomorrow. Number 34. That is one of the largest ships ever made. Number 35. All of us are going to visit the forest park later. Number 36. History class was rescheduled for Wednesday evening. Number 37. Nancy is learning how to play basketball. Number 38. If you'd been watching, you could have learned to do it. Number 39. What we could do is ask the teacher to participate. Number 40. They're not going to give us an opportunity to attend the lecture. Number 41. Let's go find some chocolate candy. Number 42. Julie doesn't like that kind of movie, but she watches them sometimes. Number 43. If you two leave soon, you'll be able to make it to class. Number 44. I sometimes wish that I didn't have to go to school every day. Go on to the next page. Directions for questions 45 through 56. For each of these questions, you will hear a short talk or conversation. Before you hear the talk or conversation, you will hear a question about it. You must answer that question. As you listen to the talk or conversation, listen for the answer to the question. In your test book, you will see the question and four possible answer choices. Choose the correct answer and mark the letter of that answer on your answer sheet. Here is the first sample question. You hear, listen for the answer to the following question What will the class discuss next week? Here is the talk. Okay, class. Last week we talked about reptiles like snakes and turtles. This week we're going to learn about birds. Next week, our topic will be amphibians. What will the class discuss next week? In your test book, you will read The correct answer is D. Amphibians. Now, here is another sample question. You hear. Listen for the answer to the following question Where is the boy going on vacation? Here is the conversation. Hi, Mario. Is your family still going to Florida for vacation this summer? No, my dad decided he wanted to go to the mountains instead, so we're going to Colorado. Oh, you'll love it there. We stopped there last year on our way to California.
Where is the boy going on vacation? In your test book, you will read. The correct answer is C, Colorado. Number 45. Listen for the answer to the following question What did the girl do on Saturday? Here is the conversation. Did your dad take your brother to the zoo on Saturday? Yeah, and everything went wrong. First, my brother dropped his ice cream cone. Then they got lost trying to find the monkeys. Then my brother fell down and hurt his knee, and my dad had to take him to the doctor. I was glad I stayed home. What did the girl do on Saturday? Number 46. Listen for the answer to the following question. Where did the teachers first plan to hold the student art show? Here is the conversation. During that heavy rain last night, the roof over the school lobby started to leak and water's coming in. Now we can't set up the student art show there. Do you think we could do it in the gym? Isn't there a basketball game there tomorrow? How about the cafeteria instead? Or we could even display the art on the stage. Where did the teachers first plan to hold the student art show? Number 47. Listen for the answer to the following question. Where are the 10th grade students supposed to sit for the assembly? Here is the announcement. Please excuse this interruption. Today's assembly will start at 1 o'clock instead of 2 o'clock. At 10 minutes to 1, all 9th grade students should go to the auditorium and sit in the front rows. 12th graders should sit in the back rows. Please leave the middle rows empty for teachers. 10th grade students should sit on the left side of the auditorium and 11th graders on the right side. Where are the 10th grade students supposed to sit for the assembly? Number 48. Listen for the answer to the following question. Which store does not sell flower pots? Here is the conversation. Have you ever been to that hardware store on 3rd Street? I'm wondering if they sell flower pots. I need one for a biology project. Or else I thought maybe a plant store? But I think they'd be expensive. Well, I know the hardware store doesn't have them. I was in there yesterday. Maybe a supermarket? They sell plant supplies. Or how about that big craft store? Which store does not sell flower pots? Number 49. Listen for the answer to the following question Where did the man see the article about the new tool? Here is the conversation. I read an article about a new tool that cuts through both wood and metal. I think it was in Sunday's newspaper. Hmm. I read Sunday's paper pretty thoroughly and I didn't see it. Are you sure it wasn't in one of those news magazines?、Mm, let me think. It wasn't the science magazine. Oh, I remember. It was in a home improvement magazine, I get. I'll bring it in. Where did the man see the article about the new tool? Number 50. Listen for the answer to the following question How did Linda get to school in the morning? Here is the conversation. Why wasn't Linda on the bus this morning? Well, she was going to get a ride in with her mom, but then the car wouldn't start, and it was too late for the bus, so she rode her bike to school. That's pretty far. Couldn't she get a ride with someone else? You know Linda. She likes to be active. How did Linda get to school in the morning?
Number 51. Listen for the answer to the following question. What sport was least popular last year? Here is the talk. I'd like to encourage everyone to try out for some of the sports teams we have at school. Last year, a lot of students turned out for soccer tryouts, but we didn't get very many for field hockey, and we'd like to change that. During the winter, our indoor sports have been very popular, like gymnastics, wrestling, and indoor track. This sheet of paper lists them all. What sport was least popular last year? Number 52. Listen for the answer to the following question. Where is the girl going to work in the summer? Here is the conversation. Hey, Debbie. John says you got a new job for the summer. Didn't you like working at the swimming pool? I did, but they only needed me a few hours a day. This job's at a computer store, full time. Are you going to work for that clothing store again? Nah, they don't need anyone this summer, but John's working at the hospital in one of their labs. He's going to see if he can get me a job there. Where is the girl going to work in the summer? Number 53. Listen for the answer to the following question. What activity does the boy like best? Here is the conversation Andre has the coolest video game. It's called Finish Line. Oh, my sister has that one. It's fun, but I get tired of it after a while. I think it's from looking at the television screen so long. The same thing happens when I work on the computer or watch a long TV show. But you like going to the movies. Yeah, but that's in a big theater. It's different. What activity does the boy like best? Number 54. Listen for the answer to the following question What did the teacher put at the top of the list? Here is the conversation. For my class, we have to list the 10 most important things you need to bring to camp in the woods. The teacher put a bottle of water at the top of the list. I added food to that. I don't think you'd have to bring food with you. You could find plants or use a knife to catch food and cut wood for a fire. But you would need a blanket. What did the teacher put at the top of the list? Number 55. Listen for the answer to the following question. According to the weather report, when is the snow likely to start? Here is the conversation. Some of my students said it's supposed to snow tomorrow night. No, this morning's weather report said it'll start this afternoon. Gee, do you remember that big snow we got last year? It started in the morning and lasted for two days. According to the weather report, when is the snow likely to start? Number 56. Listen for the answer to the following question Where will the group meet at lunchtime? Here is the talk. Okay, everyone, we've arrived at the museum. When you first go in, go to the lobby, just under the large painting of a horse you'll see there. We'll then split into groups. Remember that only one group at a time can go into the special exhibit. We'll meet at lunchtime outside the modern art room. Then go to the ticket sales area at 2 o'clock before boarding the bus. Where will the group meet at lunchtime? Go on to the next page. Directions for questions 57 through 
For these questions, you are going to hear three students talking. The students' names are Julie, Andre, and Susanna. You'll also hear Mr. Jones, an English teacher at the school. When the talk stops, you will hear one or two questions about it. For each question, you will see four possible answers, A through D, in your test book. Choose the correct answer and mark the letter of that answer on your answer sheet. Now listen to the talk and hear some sample questions. You will hear. Hey there, Andre. I didn't see you at history class today. Was something wrong? Well, I haven't been feeling well, but that's not the reason I missed class. I was looking for my pencils and I missed the bus. Here is the first sample question. How does Andre feel? In your test book, you read. The correct answer is A. Sick. Therefore, you should mark answer A. Now, here is another sample question. You hear, Why didn't Andre attend the history class? In your test book, you read. The correct answer is D. He missed the bus. Therefore, you should mark answer D. Now listen. The test will begin now. Remember, mark the correct letter on your answer sheet. Julie will speak first. Andre, I'm glad you're going to eat lunch with me. I hope the cafeteria won't be too crowded and slow. I know you have to hurry. It doesn't look too busy, but we can only see the entrance from here. Why don't you have a look inside the cafeteria and see if there's room for us to eat at a table? There may not be any seats available. Number 57. What are the students getting ready to do? Number 58. What does Julie suggest that Andre do? Now listen. Andre speaks first. I think there are plenty of seats available. I'm sorry I'm in such a rush to eat. I've got to do some extra studying before my next class since I didn't have time to do it last night before the game. Number 59. Why is Andre in a hurry to eat? Now listen. Julie speaks first. What do you think you'll have for lunch today? I'm not sure. I hope they have carrots. They're supposed to be really good for you, and besides, I really like them. Well, I think they served carrots yesterday, so they'll probably have peas or corn today. They usually don't serve the same vegetable two days in a row. I really hope they're serving fruit cocktail. Number 60. What does Andre want to do? Number 61. Why does Julie believe the cafeteria will serve peas or corn? Now listen. Andre speaks first. Oh no, I just realized that I don't have my bag with me. All my money is inside, not to mention my chemistry class notes. I think you had it before lunch near the entrance to the auditorium. As I recall, you were talking there with Susanna about her book of poems. Why don't you go look over there? I'll do that now. Number 62. What is inside Andre's bag? Number 63. Where is Andre going now?
Now listen. Andre is meeting Susanna near the auditorium. Andre speaks first. Hi, Susanna. I came back to look for my bag. Did I leave it here by the equipment room? I remember the bag. I saw you set it down there, over by the door to the auditorium, so that you could help Mr. Jones move some chairs. But I don't see it there now. Number 64. Where does Susanna think Andre put the bag? Number 65. Why did Andre put down his bag? Now listen. Andre speaks first. Well, I suppose I could have left it in my last class. Maybe I left it in one of the chairs I was moving. You should probably find Mr. Jones and ask him. He was just here. Perhaps he's down the hallway a short distance. Number 66. What does Susanna suggest that Andre do? Now listen. Andre and Susanna meet Mr. Jones in the hallway. Mr. Jones speaks first. I was expecting that you might come back for your bag, Andre. Here it is. Thanks, Mr. Jones. By the way, I really enjoyed class today. Thanks, Andre. By the way, I'm glad you came back. I was wondering where your English essay is for this week. You need to bring that to me when you can. I'd like it by the end of the week. Number 67. What does Mr. Jones want Andre to do? Number 68. When does Andre need to submit his essay? Now listen. Andre is speaking. Well, Mr. Jones, I'm having a little bit of difficulty coming up with an ending for my essay. Last night I was working on it, but I had to do some errands and I couldn't finish before bedtime. I'm very confident that I can finish it. That's good to hear, Andre. Number 69. How does Andre feel about completing his essay? Number 70. How is Andre progressing with his essay? Now listen. Mr. Jones is speaking. After you finish this one up, you'll have completed all of your essays for my class. How does that make you feel? To be honest, Mr. Jones, I'm really more concerned about my test scores. How am I doing? Well, let me have a look. I see that you've taken every weekly test. My records show that you're doing very well. Number 71. How many more essays does Andre have to write? Number 72. What is Andre worried about? Now listen. Andre speaks first. About my essay, Mr. Jones. Do you have any advice? I'd like to finish it up. Here's something that's helped several other students in your situation. I have a couple of English books I sometimes loan to students. You should have a look at them. I'll need them back to teach class on Friday. I can do that. School gets out early on Thursday. I'll have plenty of time to read them. Number 73. What does Mr. Jones suggest that Andre do? Number 74. 
When does Mr. Jones want his books? This is the end of the listening comprehension portion of the test. Wait for further instructions from your supervisor. Do not work on any other section in the test until you are told to do so. End of recording.